Before you begin, please make sure the dock is plugged in but not powered on. Make sure the dock is plugged into an Ethernet port on the same switch as your PC. And please make sure your iPad is connected to a Wi-Fi access point that's on the same network as your PC. Hey guys, welcome back to another video featuring the Avid Pro Tools dock. This video is aimed at those of you who have never used a Yukon Surface before with Pro Tools. I'll be covering download, installation, and enabling Yukon in the Pro Tools preferences, and more. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download the Yukon package from your Avid account. And you can do that by going to avid.com, clicking on sign in, and then under my products, you'll see uh, my products and subscriptions. Now, if you've registered your product, which you should have done already, uh, when you click on my products and subscriptions, you'll see a heading for Doc and U Control. So, uh, what you want to do under products and product details and download links, uh, click Show. And then you're going to want to download the newest U-Control package, which as of this video is 3.6.1. So we're going to download that, uh, which I've already done. And uh, I'm going to extract it. So I'm just going to extract it uh, to its own folder. And I'm going to uh, run the installation for Yukon. Click next, agree to the terms of the license, next, and install. And it's gonna go through its uh, installation steps. Okay, great. Finish that up. And you can verify that U Control has been installed and running uh, by looking down at the, uh, at the start bar and you can see that it's, uh, it's an E kind of grayed out. All right, now that Yukon's been installed, the next thing that you're going to want to do is download uh, Pro Tools Control from the App Store. So what I'm going to do is bring up my iPad so you can see what's going on here. And I've already searched for Pro Tools Control, and I'm going to just click on the uh, Install button. And I'm going to close this out. I'm going to click on Pro Tools Control. I'm going to click on Get Started and it's going to ask me for my login. So let's go here. And it's going to ask me for my password. And hit go. And that's going to launch you into Pro Tools Control. Now we're going to bounce over to uh, the U Control software. Open that up. And you're going to see that it recognized my iPad. It says Pro Tools Control, Anthony's iPad. Next is to turn on the dock. And close this out now. And you want to make sure that the Yukon software sees the dock. So we're going to keep this open as well. And as soon as the dock goes through its boot up sequence, it should pop up here where it says All Services. And there it is, Pro Tools Dock. So now you control sees both the iPad and the dock. So the next step is to enable Yukon in Pro Tools. So to do that, we're going to just uh, launch Pro Tools. And I'm going to go to peripherals. And then we're going to go to Ethernet controllers and enable Yukon. And now the dock should uh, spring into action and the Pro Tools control app should say Pro Tools 12 and at this point the uh, dock and the Pro Tools control app are ready to go. So if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching.